All right, hello everyone. My name is Allison Kay and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't been here for very long, I just want to say welcome. And um, if you don't really know much about me, I am a young married woman. Um, I am 23. I am currently pregnant. Uh, as I sit down and film this, I'm actually 14 weeks pregnant, which is crazy to be in the second trimester. Um, like 14 weeks. Can you guys believe that? Um, I haven't quite caught up to where I am with my weekly updates yet, but I will be there soon. And, um, I have my dog Sadie here and <laughs> joining me potentially. Her name is Sadie. She is a German short-haired pointer and she has some discoloration over here. Um, she used to be all brown on like this part of her face and now she has all these white splotches. So that's fun. Um, but today let's just get into this. I want to talk about, um, what I did the month that I conceived. So, I am currently 14 weeks. I got pregnant in January. Um, and there are some things that I think maybe that I did that helped. Um, but really, I do have to say my first thing is praying and trusting God. And I was trying to get pregnant since January of 2018. And I got pregnant in January of 2020. So um, this was not my first pregnancy. I was also pregnant um, in November of 2018. So it took us 11 months the first time and then it took us um, only six months the second time. But I'll explain that here um, as well along the way. But basically, um, it's all God's timing and his will. Um, I do believe that. I think there are women who want to get pregnant who may never get pregnant. And I don't think that the Lord is um, unjust for that. I think that is incredibly difficult to accept. Um, sorry as I fidget around here, but it's incredibly difficult to accept that. Um, but I think if you cannot conceive naturally and you still feel that great need um, and desire to have children, I think maybe that's the Lord um, nudging you into adoption and foster care. And if you don't feel like that's the right thing, maybe maybe just caring for those in your community without, without fostering or adopting. But... Um, I think he's still good no matter what, and uh, that was really hard to work on accepting that, but I think that's um, that's the biggest thing is just trusting God and just praying and sharing with him that it's your, your heart to have a child, but ultimately you have to realize it's his will and not yours. That needs to be done, you know? Um, so that's the first thing. Okay, so number two was um, this product, actually. I'm not, this isn't in any particular order. Um, after number one, Sadie, um, hi, sweet girl, you are so precious. So after, um, she really wants to sniff the bag of what this is, but, um, yeah, these aren't in any particular order of importance, uh, in my opinion, but I got this yellow maca root powder, um, and I think, I don't know if this really helped or not, I have no idea, but, um, <laughs> are you trying to be in frame still? She's like moving over to the side. Um, but I did get this. I used it about twice. So I still have like the whole thing of it. Um, maybe I will use it after um, after pregnancy. But I don't think I'm supposed to use it during pregnancy. So I haven't been. Um, but it is organic. It doesn't have the best flavor. But um, you can look into maca and if how it pertains to um, helping people get pregnant. But um, I did feel like getting it and trying it out so I did and I think I only like I said used it about twice um but still there is that so <laughs> Sadie is just like her paws are on my arm right now um I also took a different prenatal which <laughs> I should have gone to grab that I will just insert a quick clip of it um so it was that one that you just saw, the Garden of Life, one of their prenatals. I did actually switch to that prenatal um, before, like, that time that I was trying to conceive. I'm taking something else right now, um, but I have considered switching back to it. It was like a whole food, natural prenatal, and I did enjoy it. Um, I didn't have any problems with it, uh, but it is a relatively large pill, and you have to take three a day. So that's my warning if you don't like um, those. <laughs> Sadie. And then, um, number four, this is a tip for my doctor. So, well, I guess, okay, no, number four is that I went to see my doctor the month that I got pregnant. I actually went to see her, um, right around the time that I ovulated. 
and um, so she gave us, she told, well, it was just me at the appointment, but she told me all kinds of tips and I have those in a video. I will link that video down below. Um, and if I forget to, just tell me to and I will, or you can go find it. It's um, like trying to conceive, I don't know, like tips from my doctor or whatever, like it's, that's what it's called. And um, so I share all the things that she told me and I knew a lot of them, or well, I pretty much had heard all of them before. Um, and implemented many of them, but one that I did not implement was, I don't, I've lost track of what number I'm on. Number five, I think is what it is, was that we did try taking Mucinex. So she said that both um, me and my partner could take this. Um, so Luke and I both took Mucinex around the time that I was ovulating. Uh, Mucinex is to help loosen the phlegm, the mucus in your like face and your lungs and stuff um, when you're sick. Well, it loosens up the mucus everywhere in your body, and um, for women, you want your mucus membranes to be egg white-like and um, nice and slippery and just like easy for <laughs> sperm to get through. So um, this is something that she said we could take right around ovulation. So I took, um, when I thought I was ovulating, I took like two pills a day, I think, um, like one in the morning and one in the evening or so. I don't remember exactly, but um, I did just get the most basic generic mucinex. And I took that so um, yeah and then I thought I would share with you guys my baby dancing schedule um, my doctor encourages just all the baby dancing <laughs> um, so I think I ovulated around day 13 or 14 and we um, made sure that we took care of things on the on day 9 11 12 13 14 and 16 so, too much information, I'm sure, but there you go. <laughs> also, I don't remember, but I wrote down these two things. So those are like my six six tips slash like things. Um, I guess my sixth sixth tip then was just to baby dance often. Um, but then also, I think we used Preseed at least a couple of those times. Um, I really like Preseed for a fertility lubricant. Um, it just helps once again with things down there and um, a lot of lubricants can actually kill sperm which obviously you don't want if you're trying to get pregnant so um, proceed or there's also I think called like conceive plus or baby conceive plus those are great options for um, lubricants that will actually help you conceive so or at the very least not hinder conception um, I also don't remember but I think I might have taken evening primrose oil um, this cycle from menstruation to ovulation you take evening primrose oil and that's supposed to help so I did that um, and that is all I have in this list so those are the things that I did those are my tips um, slash they're not really I mean they're not exactly tips I just know that I watched a lot of these videos when I was trying to conceive um, and I know that it's been requested <laughs> for me to do this so I thought I would share what I did the month I got pregnant and I hope that you guys enjoyed this I hope it helped you if you have any questions leave them down below I would love to answer them and if you are trying to conceive if you're on that journey I've been there I have a lot of videos about it I have been there um, like I said it was two full years um, I did have surgery this is also a thing so I really recommend um, if you don't have an OB first of all get an OB um, second of all be persistent and get things checked out because it had been 11 months the first time we were trying to conceive and I was starting to get concerned and so we got blood work done um, and then this time around when we came up to six months um, right once again right before I conceived my doctor was like okay we can do some tests we can do an HSG where they put um, the dye in you to make sure that things can like your to make sure your eggs can get um, down your tubes and um, so there was that and then also both times they were either did order or were very close to ordering um, a semen analysis for Luke so there are things you can do um, and start getting things checked out for sure so um, if you haven't done that yet and if you have I also know what that's like I also know what it's like to go down these roads but um, for me I did end up getting pregnant the first time and had a miscarriage but through that I had an ultrasound and they saw that I had a septate uterus and so I had to have surgeries done. And so that helped me get pregnant because that made my uterus a more um, susceptible place to conceive. It made it a better place for conception where the baby could actually implant 
and grow. Um, so yeah, make sure you get things checked out. Maybe even ask them just for a basic ultrasound or something. I don't know. Um, but be persistent in asking for help and don't be afraid because um, these doctors are here to help you and they don't just want your money. They want to help you because um, at least I know there are doctors that do care. I have wonderful doctors um, who have helped me along the way. And so I've been yammering a lot, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, like I said, if you have any more questions about what I did, you can ask. I don't know if I'll remember, but I will do my best to answer you. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. God bless. And I will see you later. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.